Some of the content in the following video some viewers might find a little inappropriate or be a little sensitive to. So you, viewer discretion is advised. Previously on Macabgorium Labs. Ultimately, Brickleberry was cancelled on January 7th, 2015 by Comedy Central, with Paradise PD premiering in 2018. It's not meant to be an official spin-off, but it is considered by many as a spin-off. This being due to the fact that it has a similar story plot, characters, and voice actors. I told you, they're park rangers, we're cops. Totally different. Hey everybody, what's up and welcome back to Macabre Gorham Labs presents School of Boredom, a showcase of things likely forgotten. As you probably guessed, my name is Bats and I'll be your guide today as we take a look at a continuation from our lesson number 106, Brickleberry, the most underrated show that knew exactly what it was doing by diving deep into Paradise PD. A new Brickleberry? In our School of Boredom lesson number 106, Brickleberry, we briefly discussed Paradise PD. And after so much success, at least as far as we're concerned on that video with likes and view time, we decided to bring you its counterpart by making a full video about Paradise PD. It is important to note that Paradise PD is not a spin-off of Brickleberry. I told you, they're park rangers, we're cops. Totally different. Anyway, Denzel. Although it does have many similarities, from characters to throwback lines, today we're going to discuss the similarities between the two, as well as the continuity of Paradise PD itself. Before we get started, I feel it important to mention that this is your spoiler alert. You cannot get mad at us if you continue watching this video before you have watched Paradise PD. So to begin with, Paradise PD was also created by the awesome creators Waco Ogwin and Roger Black. Paradise PD is about a small town police department where they try to protect a town that has a lot of criminal activity. Paradise PD also shares the same type of jokes and humor as well as making fun of people just like Brickleberry, no one is safe. The first season of Paradise PD was originally released on Netflix on August 31st of 2018, with a season 2 released on March 6th, 2020. Well, you've come this far, so now let's get to know the main cast of Paradise PD. First up onto the spotlight, we got Gina Jabowski. She is very violent and is the most feared police officer in Paradise PD. She is obsessed with another officer, Dusty, who we will discuss next. However, he has no interest in her, kind of how Connie was obsessed with Ethel in Brickleberry. Yeah, fog warning. Peter, Article 7, Paragraph 2. The next officer we're going to take a look at is Dusty Marlowe. Dusty is a 650 pound, morbidly obese, naive police officer that Gina is uncomfortably and overly affectionate towards. Dusty is a happy, simple man with severe diabetes that owns several cats and spends most of his money on their care. This relationship between Gina and Dusty is once again similar to that of Connie and Ethel from Brickleberry. Mmm, you wanna hit? Our next officer on the list is Gerald Fitz Fitzgerald. He has severe PTSD which greatly inhibits his ability to do police work. He has had counseling for his PTSD and has been taught to use Buddhist meditation and playing a piccolo to calm his anxiety. This association treatment is very similar to the kind of relationship that Woody and Malloy have in Brickleberry, since Malloy acts as a therapy pet to help calm Woody's anxiety. Aw, oh, Malloy. I bet you'd like to see my tight ass in that, you creepy pervert. Next up on our list, we have Officer Stanley Hobson. Not a lot is known about Hobson, except that he was born in 1843. That's right, 1843, making him over 120 years old. Fun fact, Stanley Hobson only works at Paradise PD at this point because they do not have the funds to pay for his retirement. There isn't a whole lot we're willing to say here about Hobson. Some things are best discovered on your own, so do yourself a favor and check out Paradise PD on Netflix to find out more about this very eccentric character. Hey, oh, don't you yell at me, Mickey Rooney, you son of a bitch. 
The last officer on our list is Kevin Pube Salad Crawford. And yes, I did just say Pube Salad. He is the newest hire to the Paradise PD and is trying to show his dad that he can be a good cop. Due to an accident that happened when Kevin was five, his father stopped him from being a police officer as he thought Kevin was a safety risk. Although some episodes of the show do show that Kevin could be a better cop if there was new equipment and funding for him to use, he is usually incompetent. This character kind of reminds me of Ethel from Brickleberry, as she's always trying to find ways to make the park better while doing humanitarian things like raising funds for the orphan baby animal sanctuary. Also, just like Steve in Brickleberry, Kevin is always trying to prove to his father that he can be a good cop. Just like Steve is always trying to prove to Woody that he can be a good ranger. And we all know Brickleberry had Malloy, and Paradise PD has a character named Bullet. Bullet, much like Denzel, loves marijuana, but he will do any drug at any time he can, with his favorite drug being cocaine. Bullet was once a great police drug dog, but his drug addiction constantly gets him in trouble as he uses most of the drugs in the evidence locker on a pretty consistent basis. Now, of course, there has to be a leader for this ragtag group of misfits, and that's where Chief Randall Crawford comes in. Chief Randall Crawford is the father of Kevin Crawford and is the police chief in Paradise. He was once a proud, masculine officer, but after Kevin accidentally shot him in the family jewels when he was five, the chief has been having a testosterone problem. You know you aren't supposed to wear more than one of those at a time. Let's not get crazy here, Dad. You're kind of starting to turn red. Not the other arm! This has made the Chief bitter and led to the eventual ending of his marriage. Chief Crawford was married to the now mayor of Paradise, Karen Crawford. The first season of this show consists of the Paradise PD gang trying to stop the sale of... Well, I'll let them tell you. I'll be remembered beyond death for inventing Argyle man. That has recently surfaced in Paradise. Since his mother, Karen Crawford, is the mayor of Paradise, she is always helping Kevin, especially when it will piss off Chief Crawford. Therefore, she makes Kevin a police officer, which makes Chief Crawford really mad, as he feels he will have to babysit Kevin. In order to keep Kevin safe, Chief Crawford sends him to be a crossing guard. But eventually, Kevin decides to start his own investigation into the... Kingpin. Hijinks ensue as we watch episode after episode of the Paradise PD officers fail to find the true Kingpin. Toward the end of the first season, in episode 9, Kevin finally gets his parents back together. After which, they kick him out of the house and he's forced to live in the sewers with the Flipper people. Nothing out of the ordinary here. Moving on to the second season, we begin with Gina trying to bust Dusty out of the women's prison he was sent to, as she knows Dusty isn't the real kingpin. Again, nothing out of the ordinary. Kevin's parents remarry officially, and we find out that Officer Fitz has made a lot of money by selling dipping dots since the town was made safe by Dusty's incarceration. We eventually find out that Fitz was the kingpin all along, and he's now going to band together with some criminal associates and begin selling which apparently is a much better product than... That town too. Around this point in time, FBI agents get involved and Chief Crawford gets jealous of one FBI agent for his ability to catch criminals and the size of his family jewels. This is due to Karen Crawford's very specific interest, which leads Chief Crawford to fix his issue in a very unique and troubling way. Big call energy. I got that big ball energy. Later on, we find that Karen Crawford is trying to get re-elected as mayor, so she legalizes... I'm legalizing... Which leads to Officer Fitz running against her. All of this forces the Paradise officers to flee Paradise and retreat to Brickleberry. That's right, folks! Can it be? It is a Brickleberry Paradise PD crossover. Oh, this looks like the most unnecessary crossover ever. With Woody being Chief Crawford's cousin, it seemed like a good place to go. While at Brickleberry, the Paradise PD officers help the Brickleberry Rangers find Malloy who went missing. 
So if you're not sure, check out our Brickleberry School of Boredom number 106 for more information about Malloy. The second season ends with the Paradise PD officers learning that Officer Fitz is suffering from some past trauma. So they rush back to help the town of Paradise from being destroyed by nuclear weapons and effectively being turned into a giant deep dish pizza. Once again, nothing out of the ordinary here. The officers stop one nuke, but another nuke goes off the officers didn't know about that explodes the city of Paradise and most likely killed a lot of the residents. Season 2 then ends with the words, the end question mark, and after a few seconds it then says, no. There's been a lot of debate as to whether or not Paradise PD Season 3 will be coming out at all. We did some research online. As of June 5th, 2020, Season 3 is supposed to come out March 5th, 2021 on Netflix. Well, that's about all the time we had for today's lesson. We hope you enjoyed this School of Boredom Extra Credit slash Addendum Paradise PD. A new Brickleberry? And if you enjoyed Brickleberry, you're most likely going to enjoy Paradise PD, so I suggest you check it out for yourself. If you have time, please click like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you can see all of our new, creepy, weird, strange, obscure, and eccentric content as soon as it comes out. Either way, I've been your host, Bats. We hope you had a good time, and we'll see you next time. Think for yourselves. You guessed it. Keep it creepy. Also, just like Stephen Brickleberry, what's his name? Kevin. Kevin. Also, just like Stephen Brickleberry, Kevin is always trying to prove to Woody that he can be a good cop. Hey, thanks for checking out our video. If you'd like to see more content from us, click this link right up here. If you'd like to check out one of our partner channels, you can click this link right over here. Either way, we hope you click subscribe and like and check us out for more content and don't forget to turn on notifications.